Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about what it's like to have an anxiety disorder because I feel like there's a lot of people that don't understand it. Not because they think it's fake, but they just don't get what it's like to have it. I've been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder, which means that I have ongoing and persistent fears about everyday things. There's not always even a reason for it, I just feel incredibly nervous all the time. I only speak from my own experiences in this video, just to put that out there. There are a lot of other ways that people can have anxiety and experience anxiety, and that's okay. It can manifest in different ways in different people. Anxiety tends to cause two responses in people, anxiety attacks and panic attacks. I have anxiety attacks more often than panic attacks, so that's what I'm going to focus on in this video. Anxiety attacks for me are a very slow and painful process. Sometimes there's something that causes them, and sometimes there isn't. It starts off as a really uneasy feeling in my gut, and then it builds and builds until it feels like there's something going crazy inside of me. This is kind of an obscure reference, but it feels like those scribbles from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends are just inside of my stomach. Breathing isn't impossible during attacks, but it kind of feels like there's something heavy sitting on my chest so it's more difficult than normal. And I get really sweaty too, it's gross. And I start to shake, my hands shake a lot, and I feel really tense, and my heart beats really fast and I get super hot. All of this gets worse and worse over a period of a few minutes to several hours, depending on the day. And during this, I feel like I can't stop moving, and I feel like I'm either gonna vomit or shit myself. And I know that's gross, but it's true. I can't even find a good word to describe how I'm feeling during these. I just feel, ah. And eventually everything slows down and it fades away, but it's not a fun process. The reason for these can really vary. Like I said, sometimes there's not even a reason. I just get nervous out of the blue. And then other times there's a definite reason, like class presentations, meetings, interviews, stuff like that. Embarrassingly, some of these reasons are really small. That's the worst part about it. There are things that are so petty, but my anxiety keeps me from being able to do it. And I know it's irrational, but I can't help it. Like, I can't use the drive through at a fast food restaurant. I can't make phone calls. I can't drive long distances. I can barely drive at all, actually. Sometimes it's things like a bunch of people talking or yelling at once, or sudden loud sounds like someone ringing the doorbell or slamming a door. There are just a lot of things. So many. A lot of people wonder how to help someone when they're having an anxiety attack, and of course it's different for everybody. But for me, I just need people to leave me alone. I don't express a lot of my symptoms outwardly because I don't want people to know I'm anxious. If they try to help, they usually end up accidentally making it worse. Whenever people ask me if I'm okay, then I get choked up and I start panicking about the possibility of crying in public. And I don't really know how to express emotions that come with anxiety anyway, so there's no good way to tell you how I'm feeling. Hey, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Lots of people talking to me at once and trying to figure out what's happening just makes me feel more overwhelmed and claustrophobic. So while I appreciate people trying to help me, please just give me space. The quickest way for me to come down from an anxiety attack is to retreat somewhere where I can be quiet and safe. Then I just try my best to take deep breaths and relax. If I'm in public, then I might go to a bathroom or stick to the back of a group so I'm away from the crowd. I just do my best to make myself as comfortable as possible. There are a lot of different options for treatment for anxiety. Uh, currently, I have been on a medication called Celexa for about six or seven weeks. It hasn't done a whole lot for me, but there's still time for it to kick in, so fingers crossed. If you're struggling with anxiety, please don't do what I did and just put up with it for years before deciding to do something about it. If you can, talk to your doctor about treatment options and do what's best for you. There's no shame in trying to fix your anxiety. Okay, so I think I have complained enough for one day. I will see you guys later.